Bhante. Before coming here to Britain, I happened to have a look at a, a German weekly magazine. There was the title of that magazine with the figure of Jesus. Jesus, in a way, walking out the city with his luggage and he looked a bit worn down. And the title said, well, has Jesus lost the game? And the article seemed to suggest, well, actually Christianity seems to be very much losing, but there are quite a few new religions, new cults even, they said, which seem to be very attractive to many people. Why should that be so? Why do you think people seem to be attracted to other religions than Christianity these days? I think one reason is that other religions are available. One has a choice. In former times one didn't. One was perhaps in very minimal contact with Jews. One might have heard of the Muslims or even met them had you lived in Spain. Mm. But during the Middle Ages and later for many hundreds of years, Christianity was the only option. After, of course, the, the Reformation and the Counter-Reformation, there were two options, Protestantism mm -hmm. and uh, Catholicism, and then, of course, Protestantism subdivided, and uh, one could choose between all sorts of sects, but still within Christianity. So I think one of the reasons why some people nowadays become interested in non-Christian religions is because the, the teachings, the scriptures, the practices, of those religions are available to them in a way that they weren't available before. Mm -hmm. Because in almost every European city of any size now, one can find not only Buddhist groups, but Hindu groups mm. and Sufi groups, and so on. Mm. The mere fact that they are start, uh, starting to look around for new religions seem to suggest that they are dissatisfied with the old one. And what do you think it is they try to turn away from? I think in some cases they're dissatisfied, but one has to admit that in, in, in quite a few cases they've not even known uh, traditional mm. Christianity to any extent. But nonetheless, they don't seem attracted by it. Mm -hmm. It could be that uh, for a lot of people nowadays, the theistic alternative isn't very attractive. Mm -hmm. And Why Christianity is, is, of course, a form of, of, of theism. Yeah. And uh, if you... Uh, are not attracted by the idea of a personal God or a personal saviour, then you're not likely to take an interest in Christianity. Mm -hmm. Buddhism offers a, a non-theistic option. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think for quite a few people with an interest in religion, but uh, not really believing in a personal God, a non-theistic religion does offer certain attractions. Mm -hmm. I think also there is the fact that um, Christianity has very little to offer in the way of actual practice. Buddhism has got a lot to offer in that respect. There are many methods, methods of meditation, yeah. for instance. Yeah. Quite aside from Buddhism, something like yoga has attracted a lot right, of people. Yeah. It is, of course, of Indian origin. Yeah. I'm talking about hatha yoga, yeah. of course. Mm -hmm. And that, that is something practical, something that one can do, that yeah. one can, through which one can change one's body and change mm -hmm. one's mind. Mm -hmm. So Buddhism, in the same sort of way, does offer so many practical methods of changing one's mind, mm -hmm. developing one's mind, mm -hmm. developing a new perspective on life in the form of its various meditations. Mm -hmm. So that, yeah. again, is attractive. And then again, of course, I suppose it's just new. Perhaps there is, for some people, the attraction of novelty. Yeah. There seems to be so much available. Sometimes it's been spoken of as a kind of spiritual supermarket. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, um, well, People go for this, go for that, then go for that. But what is it what would really sort of make them sort of uh, start working on their mind? Because you seem to suggest, well, Buddhism offers that kind of practice, offers something more even than maybe other mm. religions do. I think some people are dissatisfied with their personal state, yeah. dissatisfied with their mental state, mm -hmm. dissatisfied with their personal relationships, mm -hmm. dissatisfied with their, their whole way of life, their position mm -hmm. in life, their position in society. Mm -hmm. Others, of course, are more concerned perhaps about the state of society mm -hmm. and feel that well, some alternative is needed. Yeah. Some, especially perhaps the more idealistic, uh, are not enamored of the consumer society yeah. and uh, feel that their 
is more to human life than just being a, a consumer. Yeah. I, I, I saw recently a little sticker which said, this was a paraphrase of Descartes, you know, famous aphorism, I shop, therefore I am. Mm -hmm. And some people don't want to derive a sense of their own existence from the fact mm -hmm. that they spend money in shops, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. however glittering the shops may be. Mm -hmm.